Hello, Leo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo Sun Moon Rising. Uh, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Leo. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general hmm, and timeless readings. Yeah. Um, everything you need to know is down below in the description box, my website link, Instagram handle, you know the drill. And, um, yeah, I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I do. Wow, this is a very just, like, magical reading. Okay, yeah. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've been here, supported the channel. Let's jump into this okay you're manifesting yes or uh, maybe like there could be something that you are putting intentions out into the universe right now whether you realize it or not or it's telling you to be a little bit more conscious and aware of your intentions that you're putting out into the universe right now because your imagination is very powerful this is quite delightful it's pretty much like kind of saying that you can imagine something into being the process of getting there is super crazy but you know I remember back in the day should I no I'll wait no I'm okay let's just wait all right so I guess something's going on with a man, something that you're manifesting at this time. There was the Ace of Pentacles. Is it a new job, a new home, new way to make money, new com new contract? <clears throat> <clears throat> that was a weird thing. Oh. Okay, so it looks like, it looks like, all right, so I usually talk about how your opposite sign is Aquarius. Um, you know, you have a weird situation going on where you're like aligned with someone and then opposing Aquarius. I feel like these are not the most delightful communications. There could be someone traveling here. Or there's some kind of distance, you know, like maybe something chaotic is happening. I don't know, because there was a recent Ten of Swords. So this could have felt like a health crisis. This can feel like getting thrown under the bus. And we've got, there's that Knight of Swords up at the top, which is like, this Knight of Swords is like super blunt, you know? Um... It's almost like an Aries, but it's like different. I don't know. Aries are blunt definitely in their own way. That's what I've come across. Okay. And then we have, <laughs> do you know what this feels like? Cause so we have the three of wands right there. This, this almost feels like There's that Six of Swords. There's the Seven of Cups, which can talk about... This one specifically, it can talk about similar imagination. You know? In this scenario, I would say that you want to get out of the situation. And you might have to imagine it being there already before you take any movements, which is like such a pressurized situation because when you're in something unpleasant like a negative vibration you know maybe you go into something and it feels like really stressful and you know but it's saying like if you can change your vibration in it in, while you're already in it and start manifesting it'll pull you into a different frequency or pull you into a different reality so that's kind of the vibe that i'm getting is like you might want to stay out of the line of sight of this communication knight of swords we have the five of pentacles 
I'm also getting like unsolicited advice. <laughs> that one's always hilarious. What? Six of Cups? Is this like traveling back home or you're going to meet someone that you know from the past? There's some kind of history here because this is very strange. I mean, the positive thing is that we have, this is moving into harmony. So I do think that you are moving into more peace and harmony, believe it or not. The mind looks still a little bit like um, crossroads or maybe confusion or trying to decide on something. Okay, let me dive into that too. And then another travel card, Chariot. There's definitely an element of distance here. So maybe there is a person at a distance from you saying something. Because see how there's, how many ships do we have? Just the one ship. But oh no, there is one there. And um, so anyway... Three of Wands, Six of Swords, those, uh, like, there are bodies of water in between here. Also the Chariot. So there's three cards that are talking about some kind of distance. Okay, so that, let me go back to what I was getting. <sighs> okay, you're, for those of you that resonate with this, certain parts of your reality feel a little displeasing to be in maybe it's not a hundred percent of the time like there could be little moments like say you don't like a job and that it's getting to that point where it becomes unpleasant or you're like ready for something different or whatever it is whatever the scenario is um this is very real I have used this many times and it actually does work but when, that's why I was saying, your ability to be able to just pick yourself back up after some recent painful things that you've been through is, like, super important. It, like, apparently, imagination is going to bring in your manifestation. So, I guess, imagine yourself, you know, winning and doing this is a very interesting thing here because it's either that you are going to <laughs> this looks like you're trying to get away which is like I'm going more with the imagery that there's a person here that's looking at you and you are trying to stay away from the past it's a definite don't look back reading because it looks like you could be um like right on this brim of success, you know, this person is very strongly coming in. This person is thinking about you a lot. See the thoughts? That's why I love the way she did this card. Like this person's thinking about the thoughts or um, the memories between the two of you a lot, a lot. Um, and right now, they could feel out of what is, like, their comfort. So, this person that you dealt with. They're in some kind of, like, you know, they could be dealing with rejection abandonment wounds if you rejected them. They have a, like, high sensitivity to that, which is, like, pulling up all these emotions and... That is, I think, what goes on in dynamics. Like, as you move forward, because your path... Maybe you already went through the process. For those of you, there could be a masculine or feminine, whichever gender. But someone from your past is thinking a lot about the memories here. And... um. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I, I was getting kind of the sense that you already went through that process. You know how with females and males, like, they have this fascinating thing that happens where when a disconnection happens, at first, in the freshness, like, the females grieve really strongly. It's very emotional and all of that. And then, but right after for the 
male, he's like partying and going crazy and doing all this stuff. And then there's a certain point when it just flips. Entanglement? Possible. But it's almost like when the energy of that female, when she finish, finishes purging the relationship through being very emotional and crying. And to me, crying is just like releasing everything that had ultimately connected you to another human. And then once it, once it goes through a certain amount of grieving, it's like, boom, then it sh shifts. That's the vibe I'm getting from this thing. So I don't know who this person is for your life. Because, um, for me, I'm just sticking with that this is you. You might be communicating quite a bit. It's possible you have someone else in your vicinity that's acting like that. And you keep... Um, maybe you're trying to keep some distance from this person, but this is very successful. Very, I think once you finally make, make, uh, make it concrete in your mind and come to one conclusion about this person and situation, maybe you'll have to be kind of gentle with yourself as you fluctuate through the emotions because these two cards, even though these are not water sign cards, it feels like to me that there are some emotions. See all the water? It could um, say that they fluctuate like waves. You know, one day you can feel like maybe a thought triggers it. So it's possible if you become very conscious of your thoughts, maybe even journal a bit what your intentions are, what you're seeking in who you're wanting to attract. Because I kind of get the sense that between you and another masculine, it's like there's this concern that you might have and that could be why it's like, I don't think this is your normal vibe. I mean, there is a fire card. That's the only fire card that came out. And you could be kind of like, um, cold or like detached, you know, you're not, you're not wanting to give any kind of emotional, like goodness to a particular person because you're like trying to make it clear that you're not going to provide that any longer or give any kind of emotional fuel toward a particular person. There is like a very strong sense of that. And that's the one that wants you, probably because this person is just like, the more boundaries you have, the more that they are freaking falling for you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which, but I was, okay, so the thing I was saying too, which might be why this person views you as being like, whoa, you know, maybe intense sometimes are like your words, <laughs> or is it, it's either someone from the past or this person is triggering a similar energy of the past. And that will be interesting to navigate through. Okay. Um, so I guess take that however it resonates. But that was the thing. If you're dealing with a person from the past. Or you've had past interactions. And this person once um, rejected you, discarded you. Forgiveness is great. But I'm also seeing that part of the concern is if you were to let them back in, I think there are some emotions that you have. But I think that if you were to, there's the possibility that they would do it again. And that is no fun. That is a definite fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me kind of a message. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind. Because these situations can be, it's like just the emotion part that makes it a little tricky, yeah? Yeah. Just rest. Just rest. The answers will come in. Okay. Or maybe you are going to make some travels and rest somewhere. I don't know. This can talk about retreat. Going toward peace where you can rest. That looks like it's kind of happening right now and... Maybe in a 
different environment like there can be transitions that happen I think that's also one thing I want to bring up with um you know you're in the midst of some shadow and then you imagine yourself being happy and joyful in the midst of that and that's this alchemy and because they always say that if you move to a next manifestation before doing the vibrational work then you can actually attract the same kind of vibration and situation so that's why i'm saying all of that hmm. okay yeah, oh yeah um leo i'm gonna dive into the extended and see whatever else wants to come out if you want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link see it over there but leo if this is why we leave things sending you so much love wishing you all the very best see you in the next reading take care